The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. On that day, as evening drew on, Jesus said to his disciples, let us cross to the other side. Leaving the crowd, they took Jesus with them in the boat, just as he was, and other boats were with him. A violent squall came up, and waves were breaking over the boat, so that it was already filling up. Jesus was in the stern, asleep on a cushion. They woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up, rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Quiet, be still. The wind ceased, and there was great calm. Then he asked them, Why are you terrified? Do you not yet have faith? They were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this? whom even wind and sea obey. The Gospel of the Lord. Why are you terrified? Well, we could ask ourselves that very question in this continuing year of 2024. Uh, I say to my parishioners on a regular basis, that the world of today and the church of today is certainly not the world and the church of our childhood. Not only that, but it is not only the church or the world of three or five years ago, that there is cataclysmic change um, in a linear sense and in a sense of degree in which both church and world are changing at warp speed. And it may seem as though um, these events and everything that's going on, everything that's a part of our life is beyond our control. Um, Cacophonous is the noise that we are surrounded with and the uh, winds and the waves of the world are just pounding us all of the time. Uh, Things on the international scene, certainly in our American landscape in a variety of means, Maybe in our own lives, it just seems as though, uh, what is tomorrow going to bring? Will there be an end to it? Will there ever be calm? And it's interesting, you know, the Lord, well, you know, why did you wake me up? Why did you bother me? And the um, disciples, you know, like all of us, it's, it's difficult to trust. We want security in our lives. You know, we probably do a lot of things out of routine every day. You know, we drive to our place of work, maybe the same way. Our schedule is the same every day. And we just like to know things that are predictable. And when things like this come up, you know, where do we go? If things are beyond our control, Lord, help us. And, you know, and it's, you know, he proves that he is God. And he says, well, if you don't believe it just because of my word, let me prove it to you because it was only given to the Lord to be able to give and to take life, to heal the blind and the crippled and the mute and what have you, to take control of the elements of the world and to uh, have complete control of that undeniable proof that he is God. My word to you and my suggestion and my prayer is, and every one of you listening, watching, can identify with this scripture passage Maybe when a wayward child is not living up to your expectations and desires, or if you're dealing with a life situation that is beyond your control and there's seemingly no remedy to it, or there is some personal issue in your life, whatever it might be, don't worry. Whatever you do, don't um, get to the point of despair, but know that Jesus Christ is our Lord and God. He exists. And all we need to do is call on him, trust him.